The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, Unu Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. Tax the rich, feed the poor, Podcast. I'm Sorry. Jim, your host. I'm, I'm Jimmy Sidekick Paul, evidently. And I'm Jeremy, the guy who doesn't know how to do the sounds right. <laughs> you really do stink at it. You'll get it. You'll <laughs> Thank get you. it. Thank you. It smells I'm like ass. In what year you'll get it in, but you'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> After I've been retired for five years. And oh my God, I swear I was listening to Alex Jones on the way home today, and when the show started, it started playing that Knight Rider theme song before you even spoke. I was like, son of a bitch, that thief. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Well, at least we know somebody's listening to us. Yeah, exactly. Still <laughs> yeah, it's Alex Jones' sound guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. where, where, where are we going to start with? Because there's a few things. Uh, we got the North Let's, Korea thing. We could start with the NFL. Oh, you want to wait off on that? Because that's going to be a long one, I hope. I, I don't care if you want to start with the NFL. Oh, my Lord. I got somebody sending me booby pics to Facebook Messenger. <laughs> Send them here. Spend them out. Send them here. That's fine. And then give your website out so the people that are listening can go to it and check and, it out, and, too. And, yeah, and send more booby pictures. More booby pictures. Hey, and them's nice movies. babies. Hey, boo boo. And other parts of the body can be sent. Well, I sent it to Jim. Now I gotta find Paul. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't bother. I'm not on Facebook anymore. I have left Facebook. You sent a video, and I am happy. Yes. With the boobies, I thought it was a picture. Right, we'll open no, it up soon. It's a video. Are, are we gonna open up the show or what? Uh, we are. All right. Uh, <laughs> we are. <laughs> You wanted to tonight's show brought to you by dementia. <laughs> yeah, dementia. When you let me like the joint, and maybe we'll come up with a topic. <laughs> Do you suffer from dementia? Is your name Jim Bell or Paul exactly. Daniels? We have a cure for you. I remember shit. It's him. It's oh, Jimmy. <laughs> didn't I tell you? Are you recording? Uh, oh, wait, I got dementia too. Stop that. <laughs> yeah, you're the one that forgot we were even going on tonight. I don't know. Who are you? Can't remember. The, the only one that's on the ball tonight is Paul. Yeah, no shit. And that is really not Well, bad. I contributed. I did roll the joint. Oh, yeah, my I Lord. The world's coming to an end. <laughs> working on this bad boy. And it's called Hot Talk by Two reasons. Don't you feel like you get a cough, Jeremy? No. No, I don't. <laughs> When I do, I'll let you take over. All right, so can we actually get to the show? Okay, let's go NFL. NFL, start it up. Roger Goodell, let the owners uh, come up with the solution on the uh, kneeling during the anthem. They told them that they will be fine if they're on the field, but they can stay in the locker room until the anthem is over, which is bullshit. I, you know yeah, I basically, it's a cop-out. It is a cop-out. I think it's a great solution. Yeah, if you're Roger Goodell, please the million dollar players yeah, and pay his fucking salary. Like he's blaming it on the owners. They came up with it. Well, the thing is, I like about it is they're not going to get the attention anymore. No well, you know what? No NFL, no salary. That, that, that period. It, it, if and they don't do it right, we shouldn't players, watch them. Personnel, it's everybody. Anybody that decides they want to take a knee is going to get fined. Good. Good. They should. There's been a clause in the NFL for years. You have to well, what's, stand. What's he going to do if the entire team and the staff stay in the damn locker room during the anthem? Uh, exactly. Maybe that, that, that's the new way of bringing attention. Then we Let just em. won't watch them. Let them do it. Let them do they it. They'll be the less to, people to watch. But they don't get their fucking uh, their, their protest on camera. Oh, they're too much of a baby to come out of the locker room. Right. Who cares? Who cares? They have the right, actually. They have the right not to. If they don't want to, don't 
don't don't participate. Yeah, but the point there of is it no being is, is the why they're doing it. They can protest all they want. We don't care about that. The reason we care is why they're doing it. <laughs> no, it's when they're doing it, not why. Yeah, why? when and why. No, I can give two shits why they're doing it. It's <laughs> when they're doing it, during the national anthem. And if that ain't a fucking slap in the face and stab in the back, or what do you, you want to well, call it? They want to call right? it that, because that's it's... got nothing to do with my... Racial injustice. Speech. That's my, my ass, white privilege. Are you kidding me? The bunch of, yeah, I know. A bunch of freaking black football players making millions of dollars a year wanting yeah, to protest yeah. white privilege? Are you Talking fucking about serious? Talking about being biased. Yeah. As I'm fucking dragging brush out of the fucking woods and throwing it into a chipper all day. I don't even freaking make 50 grand a year, which is a drop in the bucket for them guys. They drop exactly. that at night in a fucking bar, and then they're going to tell me I'm privileged. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. It's it's just amazing. Do you know what? I was talking to a kid at work. We were talking about LeBron James, like how he thinks his opinion is so fucking important. And he's like, well, you know, he has an audience, and he can affect young minds and stuff. I go, yeah, he can, because they're as retarded as he is. He's a fucking right. moron. You want to hear him talk? He's got all the fucking... <laughs> he's got zip. Thank you. <laughs> that's not me. That's Jimmy. <laughs> that's the hell you're after that over there. Thanks for taking over, though. I tried. I tell you, nothing like an ice cold drink that will get rid of your cough. Yeah, especially when it's fucking vodka. Ah. Or shit, yeah, when you spit it up and it comes out of your nose because you can't <laughs> stop coughing. Because you can't stop coughing, yeah, I've done that. <laughs> I'm soaking my tonsil because I still have one. <laughs> you have a tonsil? Mm-hmm. Then why does it have an S behind it? Tonsils? Tonsils. Isn't that, wouldn't that apply there's more than one? Isn't that thing that looks like a V or something? I have <laughs> <laughs> Grammar it's Nazi. Tonsil. <laughs> tonsil. Yeah, it's tonsils. It's, there's more than one, evidently. Okay. Grammar Nazi. <laughs> yeah, I know. My mother used to do that to me. Drove me fuck. Because I used to say um, across or cousin, and my mother would she would drive me nuts about that. It, there's no T on that. But it was. <laughs> was. There's no car ends in an R. We don't say that. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of the NFL, and I'm glad Donald mentioned this to me just now, that uh, Trump said if they can't stand for the uh, national anthem, they can leave the country. Yeah, I do not. Donald is getting ahead of our fucking, that was next. Stop getting ahead of our show, Donald. Yeah, Donald, yeah, Donald. Donald you're getting ahead of our show. Yeah, yeah, run your own show. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting in the NFL and then coming in the, behind him with Trump in the NFL. Happy Memorial Day weekend, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Way to recover, what? Donald. We should say that. Happy Memorial Day weekend to everyone, to the troops. Yes, uh, sir. To the vets. It's a great weekend to celebrate um, sacrifice people have made for us so we can go on the radio and be total dickheads. Isn't that great? Yep. <laughs> All right, now that we got the NFL out of the way, we might as well go into Donald Trump. Yes, sir. That orange-haired bandit? No. Yeah, did you ever notice this? He says that they should, they not only should they be fined or something, they, they shouldn't even be allowed in the Yeah, country. they should not be allowed to play. That, they, that, exactly, and then he went on to say they shouldn't be allowed in the country. So now that you got the media and the Dems going, oh, yeah, yeah, full board on this yeah, one. Of course they're going to. They do it about everything. On that one, I really don't agree with Trump. You don't have to right. um, stand up and be a patriot and stuff. You should. And be allowed to be. You should. No, you should be a patriot. But, but, the free, but that's the idea of freedom, Jimmy. Freedom can be expressed. Well, like I said, ways we, don't we mentioned like. this the other last week in the show or something. Oh, where was it? Oh, no, it, there's no shame anymore. No, there isn't. No, there no isn't. Shame. But freedom, they don't care who they disrespect. Freedom is supposed to be absolute when it comes to, to, to my way yeah. of thinking. And if somebody doesn't want to salute the flag or sing the national anthem. See, I think they're like Henry the Fonda movies. And, I know, but you know that's what I mean? Freedom. John Wayne movies. 
Well, nobody yeah, would disrespect a national anthem like that. But you have the freedom to It's become to be normal dead. to do it. Oh, I got the right to do it. No, you don't. <laughs> yes, not you. You, you work it for somebody. You don't have the right. Oh, no, on the field, I agree. You, you got no fucking rights yeah, in your you're job. Yeah, on the job. I agree yeah, your freedom that. stops at work. Yeah, exactly. Where the paycheck begins. Absolutely, I agree with that. Now you're getting me going. But well, freedom means it, that, you know, somebody not working. be a dick. Well, if uh, those guys sign contracts agreeing to abide by the NFL rules and then they pull a stunt like that, yeah, they should be fined or even kicked out of the NFL. Oh, absolutely, because they're violating the... the, the when you, well, when you no, I, job, wouldn't, I wouldn't say kick them out of the country, but... No, not out of the country, know, that's ridiculous. That's a little going a little too far, but yeah, they should fucking lose their goddamn jobs. They signed a contract saying they're going to obey that fucking right. contract. They should lose their right. jobs. You it's got that right. Well, they're not breach. standing up and putting their heart on the hand. I mean, the hand on the heart. It's a breach of contract. And that goes. Yeah, it is. Saying. And what that about that uh, business world everywhere? What about that Steelers player last year? The only freaking guy on the entire team that stood for the national anthem, and they chastised this man so freaking bad in the news, and made him apologize. Made him apologize. I know. I know. Uh, I would have said, "Fuck you! I'm yeah, not exactly. apologizing." Go ahead. Fight I'd have, me. I'd have team fucking quit my job. Up. Another team would have picked him up in a happy. Right. No, what been, they would have done is they would have forced him into retirement. They wouldn't have vacated his contract, and he'd have been stuck. <clears throat> well, what I would have done was I would have rolled the contract out, collected my pay, and as soon as that contract ended, I would have fucking tried out for other teams. Fuck you. You paid me to sit home. Right. Yeah. I mean, that happens a lot of times in contracts. Especially with like our DJs and stuff, when they go to, uh, uh, they take them off the air, but they still have to pay them under their contract. Oh yeah, they sign a contract. They gotta fucking pay them. They gotta pay them, even if they take you off the air. They gotta pay you. Mm -hmm. That's a decision they make. You know, that's the risk they take when they fucking take somebody off the air or kick them off the field. They still have to fucking pay them. Well, do you know what it is? Especially in the broadcasting industry. They tell you to push the envelope, right? And then when you do, that's terrestrial radio I'm talking about. You know, not like internet or um, satellite. Right. They tell you to push the envelope. And as soon as you do, they drop the hammer on you. Because two people called in and complained. Mm -hmm. And, and, that's and then, well, they drop the hammer on you if you don't push the envelope. That's exactly. the sad part. They say you sound like everyone else. You, you're mundane. You, you're not doing. You know. You're not getting the audience. Well, then let me push the envelope. Let me really push it as far as it can go without breaking. And if you get fined by the FCC a few times, so be it. Because if you're pulling in ratings, the fine is nothing compared to what you're making through sponsorship. Mm -hmm. I hear a bunch of yelling. <laughs> uh, your wife's still going at it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Who the hell is upstairs? Her and her kids. Oh, well, we'll end that subject right there. <laughs> I was going to say, her kids, you don't got none? I have one, but she's grown and on her own pretty much. So. Oh, okay. That's got to be nice. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, no, not really. I don't... <laughs> I don't feel like I spend enough time with my daughter. Every parent says that. Except for mine. <laughs> they, they never had a real problem with me going about doing my own thing. Every chance my kid gets to spend with me, she jumps on it. Ah, that's nice. Loves to spend time with me. And so we're just totally going to be off subject all night, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just wanted to get that clear. Yes, we are going to be off subject all night because we don't know what the hell we're talking about. We didn't prepare like we usual. No right. prep, uh, zero. Well, before we leave to go to another subject, I am going to play a song and I'm going to dedicate it to Donald Trump and the NFL. Okay, we'll be back in uh, four minutes. Hi. Just 
Alright, we're back. We're back. Yeah, we had to go a on tribute to Donald Trump. They will come together and Donald Trump will win this argument. If not, get the better of them anyway. Oh, speaking of Donald Trump, there's now saying CNN, of course, you know, go figure this would come from them, that Hillary Clinton is the biggest threat he faces in the 2020 election if she runs. What? Oh, Jesus, please do it. Hillary Clinton? Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, God, they got to uh, run her she's, again. She's going to get the uh, popular vote again, but she won't get the electoral. She uh, got the popular vote. No, yeah, she she, was, she no, beat she it by almost four million votes. Only because all the illegals in California. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the reason why she got the popular vote. Yeah, well, see, the now the vote. illegals and even the citizens in California are starting to rise up and saying they don't like the, what fucking California is doing. Like what's yeah. doing exactly. San Diego is fighting you, Do you know how many counties in Southern California have people registered to vote that, that there ain't enough voters in the county that they're, they're claiming they're from? There's right. not enough voters. Yeah. Well, yeah, the numbers are... It's, it's not enough people, rather. Yeah, <laughs> it's the voters. number of voters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, that's, that's one of the things I worry about is when I pass away is who I'm going to vote for. Mm. Yeah, exactly. And it, it, they're going to steal this country away Last away thing from my mother us. said to me before she died, please, Paul, don't let me vote Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and speaking of the, the stuff that's ironic, like here in Cuyahoga County in Ohio, there were 960-some thousand total registered voters in the entire county, right? Every last single one of them voted for Obama. Wow. <laughs> it's a net. Tell me... Tell that me sounds, what's wrong with that picture. Yeah, that sounds like an election in fucking North Korea. Right, if you don't vote for Kim Jong-un... You die. That, see, that's sad. Oh, what the you know that's a bogus election, but nobody questioned it. Nobody. No, because, do you know why? Because it the satisfied... The first black the president... It satisfied the needs of the fucking um, the liberal the liberal agenda. They were going to push him no matter what. Obama was not going to lose in either of his two terms. It was impossible. No, Hillary tried to get it from him. She thought she had another one. She thought she had. Yeah, it, well, she, she tore she him apart in her campaign. Did everything she could to tear him down, oh, yeah. and then worked for him when he got elected. Yeah, I know. Well, that's typical. Well, look at Bernie Sanders with Hillary. She fucking stole it. She literally stole the primary. And he fucking jumped right on the bandwagon. That fucking, oh, God, I got some. Yeah. Well, and Hillary thought she was just like the blacks that she was keeping well, down. She thought she was. You know, the, the, the scary thing is, is had Hillary not ruined Bernie Sanders' campaign, he actually stood a chance at beating Trump in the election. Yes, see, I say that all the time. So, so you know, believe me. No, I think I, Bernie Sanders might have beat him. No, though I hate her. The young people. The no. people that actually got to pay for this free education and right. free this, free that. Though I going to vote for him. Telling you, though I dislike her for what she did to, to one of her own party members, I'm glad she did it. <laughs> yeah, but the funny thing... Bernie Sanders isn't a Democrat. He's an independent. He's an idiot. No, well, he's definitely that. An independent <laughs> asshole. I for idiots, independent, idiots, whatever. Yeah. Well, now they also they also think uh, Joe Biden stands a good a good chance at winning, too, Joe, if he runs. Joe Biden is a buffoon. He's a fucking moron. Just imagine him and Trump debating. Well, you know that's why Obama kept him kind of in the... In the background, didn't uh, get him on the media a lot because he was fucking up so much and saying stupid shit every time he spoke. And every time they put him on stage with a kid, he started groping it. <laughs> I mean, the guy's like grabbing a 10-year-old girl's boobs. And, well, not that she had any. Exactly. But he's like Right, but it's the chest. point. He's a fucking... I, I don't care. I'm not even going to say allegedly. Well, you noticed in that one big... Assuming, that one big... Uh, shot they did with him on the news he went to put his arms around that girl and it's 
her fucking dad stood in between them. <laughs> yeah, well, because it's known. I mean, he's it's like, no, nope, not my kid. You don't. Ooh, no, no, no! I and wouldn't it, even bring my kid up there. I feel it like was out there for everybody to see. <laughs> that was that was hilarious. Everybody saw. It. I think uh, Biden's been at a few pedophile parties. Oh God, yeah. Oh, he specialized. He's, well, you yeah, notice they're the uh, they're accusing you freaking we're not saying allegedly. everybody <laughs> now. They are accusing everybody of sexual harassment and abuse. Uh, it was just in the news uh, sometime this morning, I believe it was, that Morgan Freeman's been accused of it now. What? Yes. Oh, I, no, I, seen no, something Morgan like Freeman. That. I love Morgan Freeman. Yeah, he's a hell of an actor. Yeah, but what is the idea of pedophile, 17? Oh, I, I don't know. I haven't even researched that, but I saw are that this morning about mine. rape. Well, pedophilia actually means, the word pedophilia means prepubescent. Mm. It, it's before you have pubic hair. Right. And you get pubic hair at what, about 12? No, pubic hair? Yeah. Pubescent yeah. means uh, when they... Prepubescent, pubic hair. No, puberty. Puberty happens at what? What age? All right, we'll just go with that. Puberty. And some girls, it's different. Some it's 10, some it's 12, some it's 14. Average. Average is uh, 10. What? When they stop bleeding? Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. But then again, I don't have kids. I'm not totally not, sure yeah. on it and either, I, but I, I don't used have to a be. badge. So. He's been accused, by the way, so far that I can find, he's been accused of being a pedophile since 2009. It's just not been public. Who has? Uh, Freeman? Yeah. Since 2009? That's so the earliest you? article I can find on it. I was going to say, what happened in 2009 that turned you into a pedophile? Have we get down to what he's trying to fuck? That's what I am trying to find, as you well, can tell by the evidently. sounds of my clicking well, keyboard. Like I said, what are the idea of a children? 17? Well, 10? Know. Okay. But a baby? There we go. Here's a USA Today article. Morgan Freeman accused of sexual harassment and inappropriate behavior. Eight... eight People are accusing him of sexual harassment, unwanted touching, and other inappropriate behavior. The report details the 80-year-old actor alleged pattern of unwanted advances on women while he was on movie sets at media junkets or working with his production company. Freeman denied the accusations in a statement. Anyone who knows me or has worked with me knows I am not someone who would intentionally offend or knowingly make anyone feel uneasy. But it doesn't give any ages. One woman even says that he uh, several times tried to uh, lift up her dress. Inappropriate. Uh, let's see where that did it go. One woman who worked on the that set doesn't come to the level of pedophilia. One woman who worked on the set of the movie Going In Style says the actor subjected her to sexually charged comments and unwanted touches on a daily basis, like trying to lift up my skirt and asking if I was wearing underwear. Well, if he lifted up her skirt, then he would have known, wouldn't you? Well, he must put his hand up there and like a, Trump did. According to this, go up there and do it because they let you. According to this, Alan Arkin uh, commented several times telling him to stop, and apparently Morgan got freaked out and didn't know what to say. Alan Arkin, I know the actor. He, was, he uh, tried grabbing Alan Arkin. No. <laughs> no, but that would be funny. That would be great. Notice he's <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Do you know what? So apparently, I guess Alan Arkin allegedly saw him doing this to these women and told him to stop. Uh, women and or because it said did it say like child molestation? Well, pedophilia, pedophilia right there. That's what yeah, I'm talking but, about. Yeah, but but it says women. Women, you would assume to be an adult female. That's what I'm saying. Is he, is, uh, how, where's this pedophilia from? Yeah, and, and nobody, what age? Nobody said they they got like. Banged or anything. Well, I'm right. See, there's the no de and, there's no detailed articles on Morgan Freeman yeah, being a pedophile. So I would not a rape. So I would be I'd be inclined to to think at least at this time that Morgan Freeman is not a pedophile because there's nothing substantial out there that would even yeah, point I can at give it. him the benefit of the doubt on that one. Yeah, you know what I mean. That that just sounds well. They must have one that was under eighteen, and that's when the pedophilia <laughs> come in. Yeah. 
but that's not pedophilia. Oh, God, I love USA Today and their fucking pop-up ads on their own site. <laughs> not unlike... So Good bad. lord, the audio kicked in and cut me off. So I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it says that uh, he's uh, messed with at least eight women. Yeah. Sexually harassing and all that stuff. Well, you know what? I, when you're in a position like that where you have money and you're, you know, you're out there, people see you every day. It's a really easy for people well, to come out of the woodwork looking for a fucking paycheck. You know what I mean? The, exactly. The funny thing is, is about all these articles that say he's done this stuff, none of them offer up any real solid evidence that he actually did any of it. Right, like names, ages, dates. Yeah. You know, the best again is 2009. Oh, the closest crazy. one uh, that they... that. To give it a date was when he was on the set of uh, Going in Style. I don't know when that. I don't know when that movie was made, but oh yeah, this no, something else that this uh, something else that hit the news today. Harvey Weinstein uh, has apparently promised to turn himself into New York City police for a sexual abuse charge. Yeah, good, good for him. Good for him. Oh, I just wanted to go back to one thing about Morgan Freeman. I, I wonder if he tried to molest Mrs. Day, Miss Daisy. No. <laughs> ah! Too old. Oh, Just my Lord. <laughs> well, she'd be one that could probably not get away from him, so. Well, not to mention, at five minutes after the act, she would have forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I don't know. I can't remember. Good thing about Alzheimer's. Have we met before? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, about five yes, minutes ago. Yes, I'm your driver. Yeah. About five minutes ago, check your asshole. Yeah, you might remember me. I'm your <laughs> sledgehammer. I want... Oh, my Lord. Now you're going to get that damn song stuck in my head. Thanks a lot. <laughs> See, you, you really got to ignore stuff like that. You can't get let it get <laughs> stuck in your head. Can't tell Too it. late. What, are you going to play it? No, I'm looking I it up so I can not. play it. <laughs> Good. Oh, Jimmy's making a drink, so he'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, what the fuck were we talking about to begin with? Before we went... Uh, pedophilia and Morgan Freeman. Um, previous to that, it was um, Donald Trump. What? Jimmy just said you can sell your testicle for $35,000. That's a hoax. Yeah. They they don't want mine. Fucking <laughs> right and used in ages. How come they won't take two? Well, I don't know. Ask them if they will. Jimmy, what is the name of that damn them? song? I'm going to have to Google it. Sledgehammer by um, Peter Gabriel. Yep. See, I can't pay attention until somebody asks me about a song. Then I can then I can give you the info. <laughs> yep. I'm back. Certainly is. Yay. I can hear you again, Jeremy. Oh my god. I, I didn't want way. you to hear me anymore. Yeah, neither did I. <laughs> well, what do you got a slide Me? Yeah, a typewriter? No. I am trying to find that damn song and I can't find it. That's sad. I want to be your sledgehammer. What is it? Sledge. Go to YouTube sledgehammer Peter Gabriel. Sledgehammer. Yeah, that's what I said. Well, maybe I'll do it that way. I'm glad you said that. Peter Gabriel, right? Yeah. G A B R I E L. He also sings uh, Shock the Monkey, by the way. Yeah. Which he I have no idea what songs. that fucking means. I've got the touch. Uh, yeah, Salisbury Hill. <laughs> Salisbury Hill, yeah. Red Lord. Red. And now that there's a break in the action. Right, and now that there's a break in the action. <laughs> we're going to go for com station identification. You're listening to Armed Radio. Home of the big guns. You're listening to Pod Talk. And... Uh, home of the big guy. <laughs> and sound effects. Did you? 
<laughs> yeah, and sound effects. Usually <laughs> not at the right time, but there are sound effects. I guess combination. One, I two, three, four, five. <laughs> that wasn't Peter Gabriel. No, it's because I can't find it. <laughs> oh, shit. Remember that show on TV, Sledgehammer? It was a horrible show. I forget the guy that played the pot. Was like a Wasn't it Mike like Hammer, a... Stacy Keach? No, not Mike Hammer. That was yeah, that was Stacy Keach. It was called Sledgehammer. Never heard of it. It was the fucking worst show on television. It was so horribly written. It was like a, a cop show, but it was supposed and to be. You wanted me to pay attention to that? Uh, well, no, I, I, you don't have to pay attention to it. You, that you can Google. <laughs> worst fucking TV show ever. It was not funny in any way, shape, or form. I don't think I ever watched it. You d do yourself a favor. Don't ever. Don't. Not worth it. And, um... Jimmy, what are you doing? I'm going to find the uh, song, Sledgehammer. Well, if, if Jimmy's going to find it. It's probably in your library. It's what yeah. I'm looking. Jimmy's got all sorts of fucking... Obscure 80s tunes. <laughs> well, I got out of jail and I uh, started. Of... Yeah, it was actually in 95 that came out with Mario and I forget the name of the first. All right. Yeah. Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo. A fucking Nintendo? Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Now, what am I looking for? A sledge. Ah! Peter Gabriel. Peter Holy Gabriel. fuck. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. I guess we're I wanna be here. Here you go. Nineteen eighty six it come out. That's after he left Genesis. Yes. It's on his own. I, I got some other Salisbury Hill. Uh, Salisbury Hill, good too. In your eyes. No gay. Shaking the tree. Not really. In the tree. Yeah. Oh, oh, now oh, I've got a good one. You guys oh, told up the other day. You know, it's funny with Peter Gabriel. The next, but they're all in alphabetical order. The last one of Peter Gabriel right after them is Phil Collins in the air tonight. Yeah. That ain't a bad song. Anyways, Jeremy, go ahead. Sorry. I said I got a good one. I'm gonna look up since you guys mentioned it the other day. Was a uh, Max Headroom. Oh shit! I remember oh, Max yeah. Headroom was great. That that that. He started, First time I seen that was fuck. I was like, "Oh, this is trippy. I love it." Yeah, I know. <laughs> and back then, I was tripping. Right. Late seventies, early eighties. Okay, well, that was stupid. <laughs> that was definitely bad. I loved all that shit back then, because everything was new. You know what I mean? Now it's all dire new. straits. Yeah, I like the Dire Straits. So Same here. I like Mark Knopfler. He's a good guitar player. Yeah, hell of a guitarist. Yeah. Total recluse. Yeah. He's an English teacher. Him and uh, what's his name was? Sting. Sting. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, Don't Stand So Close to Me. Yeah. Yeah. That's about a girl that he was, he wound up, you know what I mean? One of his students. Back then, it was probably acceptable. No. Well, actually, it was. I mean, even. Uh, Mick Jagger wrote a song, uh, Straight Cat Blues. It was about bringing 14 year old. I don't care, yeah. 14 years old. Well, he was probably like 17. Has your time. mother ever seen you <laughs> scratch like that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, if you if, if she's 14 and you're like 16, that's acceptable. No, well, Jagger's in his 20s. Oh, well, 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 we're not he's done. 20s ain't much of a difference. It ain't like he's doing it now. Wow. That would literally be his great-great-granddaughter. <laughs> Pretty much. This is, like, really turning out to be an adventure here trying to find this. I mean, okay, I can find Jagger's it all over the place, but I can't find a downloadable version of it. <laughs> Navigate the fucking endless bullshit of the web to find yeah. the stupid Max Headroom. We got nothing for the news and nothing. Bad thing is, is I used to be really good at finding this stuff. Yeah, well, go back to then. <laughs> right? 
What are we looking up, anyways? Uh, Max Headroom. Oh, I, yeah, well, I tried Max Headroom, and the, all I can find on him is wallpapers and crap like that. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? He came and went really quick. I'm surprised you remember that, Jeremy. Oh, yeah. That was elementary school for me, but yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I was in junior high school, uh, you know, or whatever at the time. In How old are you? I was fucking 30 years old. 52, you're six years older than I am. I was in elementary school and that was popular, so yeah. if you were in junior high, damn, you were horrible in school. <laughs> yeah, well, I was. Well, I quit school. You failed in, a lot, didn't you? I quit school in 1980, so I was probably out of school. <laughs> oh, my God, that's funny. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you know what? This is just horrible. Yeah. The stuff you want, can't find. Yeah. What are you going to do? Pay for it. That's what, that's what they want. They want you to subscribe or pay for it or whatever. Yeah, fuck all that. Yeah, bullshit. I don't fucking download anything. I don't subscribe to anything. Unless I'm paying, you know what I mean? I specifically want that. Here we go. I'll do it on my phone and then play it through the mic. Yeah. That's how we'll do it. Do, do, do. Oh my God! Where's the crickets? Someone, yeah, I was gonna say. Come on, guys, talk about anything. I got a fucking big scab on my leg, and it's pulling off, and it's gonna be fucking bleeding again soon. Well, I'll tell you what, if you don't find a subject, we'll play this song until you do. <laughs> no, I like that song, but I couldn't torture you with it. All right, I'll play it for a few seconds. If you recognize it, say the name. Did you recognize it? Nope. No. We'll, we'll, we'll give you a hint. The guitar player in this song, one of them anyway, is dead. Well, that's pretty much every guitarist since the 1960s. Well, he, he, he died a couple of years ago, I believe. Chris, yeah. what's his name? No, that's no, a second. Soundgarden? No, that, no. That, that, by the way, was Rain and Blood by Slayer, and the oh, guitar God. player that died was Jeff Hanneman. Never heard of him. Would have never guessed in any way, shape, or form. Have you ever heard of Kerry King? No. No. Jeez. You guys know nothing about good guitar players. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, because, like, I'm listening to Stevie Ray Vaughan and fucking, uh, Jeff. Now. Yeah, Jeff Back and Jimmy Yeah, Page. but you're leaving out good yeah, guitar exactly. players like, uh, like, Carrie King, Jeff uh, Hanneman. You mean, like, yeah. Randy Rhodes? Uh, even Jimi Hendrix would have been a fucking hell of a guitarist if he lived beyond 21 or 20. Yeah, Jimi Hendrix was, you know, he, he was badass, period. Yeah, yeah, but he would have been a he was a good guitarist then at a young age. You know what I mean? He would have been great if he was Clapton's age. Yeah, uh, yeah. Clapton, great guitarist. Not a huge fan of his music though. I do. Um, music. Trying to think of there's another gu guitar player out there that's really, really freaking good. And I think he's Hispanic, but I can't remember his damn name. Santana. Yes. Oh, Carlos. Yes, he is badass. I yeah, he love is. Carlos Santana. Yeah, yeah. Good, great guitarist. Uh, Jimmy yeah. Page, and, great and guitarist. Uh, back, great guitarist. Another Clapton. guitarist I like, and I like this guy not necessarily because he was part of Guns N' Roses, but because he's got a real good blues style, and that's uh, Slash. Slash, yeah. Tommy Iommi from Black Sabbath. Yeah. Like I said, Randy Rhodes from um, Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, yeah, Fucking great guitarist, man. 
He could fucking uh, jam. Uh, Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. I loved Eddie Van Halen. Loved his fucking album. All right, here we go. I found it. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear this because I'm going to play it through my phone. Sound like shit on there. Yeah, it sounded like garbage. But, you know, yeah, unfortunately, it did sound like shit on that because I had to play it through my phone. You know, we never reminds me of an AM radio way back when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. WRKO. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> WKRP in time. Cincinnati. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Johnny Fever. <laughs> Every time somebody says that, I giggle because it's fucking funnier than hell to hear it. Venus flytrap. Les like, Nessman. Les the sky copter. was my favorite. Because he, <laughs> he had no office, so he put fucking tape on the floor, and he had to knock on the fake door to come into his fake office. Yeah. You know what? Speaking of odd things in TV shows, MASH. A lot of people don't know that the guy that played Radar, one of his hands was mangled up, so every yeah, time yeah, you right. would see him in a shot, that hand would be covered up like with a clipboard or something yep. else, and you wouldn't actually see it. Yeah, he had, a def- he had a disformed hand. Oh, yeah? So every time you seen him, he was holding a pen or a clipboard or something like that. Um, what was his name? Fuck. Oh, my Jamie God. Jamie No, that was Klinger. Who are we talking about? Radar. Oh, he had a fucked up hand? Yeah, he had a fucking, yeah. like, a baby hand. Gary something or other. Yeah, it was, Gary uh, Burgoff. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Radar. Uh, he, was the only, Mash. he was the only person from the movie MASH that was in the series. Though. Right. Yeah, Gary Burgoff. Uh, let's see. He was born in 1943. Gary Burghoff, really? Yeah. Well, yeah, he played. Uh, the fucking movie was from the early seventies, early seventies. Uh, he he played Charlie Brown in the "You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown." Wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Go go back to that, Jeremy. He played Charlie Brown in a Broadway musical called "You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown." Oh, okay. Nice. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> he used to be on Match Game. Remember Match Game yeah. with Gene Rayburn? Yeah. He used to be on that all the time. Uh, I don't see the yeah. date that he uh, passed away, but he was active as an actor from 67 to 2010. He's not dead. Who? Oh. Gary Burgoff ain't dead. I, don't know. I thought he was. I don't think he I is. don't think so. No. He huh. died in MASH. No, he yeah, didn't. He got, he got sent back to fucking Watumbwa, Iowa, or wherever he was from. Oh, and he was poor, that's right. Yeah, he went home. It was Henry Blake that died. Damn, he played in a lot of stuff. Talking Net Playhouse, The Good Guys, Name of the Game, MASH, Love American Style, Insight, Ellery Queen, The Love Boat, Fantasy Island, The New Adventures of Wonder Woman, I didn't know he was in that, Sweepstakes, Fantasy Island, The Love Boat again in 81, Tales of the Unexpected, After MASH, Walter and Burke's Law. Ellery Queen, do you remember Ellery Queen? I never was. It was a father-son fucking um, detectives. I don't recall that at all. <laughs> I don't. I used to watch it every week. I used to watch that in the Rockford Files. His movies, he played in the MASH movie as Radar, of course. Mm-hmm. B.S. I Love You, Twigs, The Man in the Santa Claus Suit, Casino, Doubles, 
small kill behind the waterfall, Daniels Lot in 2010. Uh, he played a preacher in that one. He he was in Casino. Uh, yeah, that's 1980. He Bill Taylor. Oh, oh no! I, I thought when it, when you said Casino, I was thinking the um one with uh, Joe Pesci and fucking what's his face, De Niro. De Niro. Yeah. yeah, I was like, what? He wasn't in that movie. Yeah, that's that's the films he played in. He, well, he's got a fucking um a good um resume. Yes, resume, Jimmy. Thank you for saving me on that one. <laughs> Uh, so we went to MASH to Ellery Queen. Yeah, one of you guys wouldn't mind taking over real quick, because I need to take a quick break. (laughs) I will be right back. I've got nothing, Jimmy, but, um, how you been? Good. Good. Been doing good. Good. Work today. Yeah. Yeah, I did. How was it working with the shot? It wasn't bad. We got stoned about three times. Well, that's that's a given with the shot. He fucking loves to get stoned on the job. He loves to take breaks. Yeah, he's not a slave driver by any means. Nah. Nah. It's just when you fucking got him over the house and he starts fucking talking, he gets on a fucking single thought. And he will not let it go. He's like a fucking dog with a fucking bone. You can't get it out of his mouth. It's like, enough, Pete. I get the idea. I'm chasing the dollar, Paul. You gotta fucking know. It's all about the fucking dollar. It's like, yeah, I get it, Pete. No, 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 no. Yo, I went and looked at three fucking jobs yesterday. It's like, I get it. Fuck, man. Jesus (laughs) Christ. And the thing that is really insane, he's like 60 years old, right? And he's still got the fucking drive that he did when he was 20 years old. Right. It, it's, it's insane. With bad knees. Uh, yeah, with bad knees and, and fucking that horrible hairdo of his. The, the stain gnomes come over twice a week and it's still gray. It's like, how the fuck does he hit? You just dyed your hair and it's gray. He dyes his hair. Fucking Pete dyes his hair every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. He'll go. He'll go in for a staining. I've never known. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, the fucking dollar. The dollar. The dollar. It's like I get the idea, Pete, but it can't be all encompassing. There's other shit too. What? Uh, dollars and cents. It's both. Uh, when is this mercifully going to end? I have nothing, Jim. I've done no prep and no nothing. Yeah, no, we get five minutes. Do you, oh, do you know what we should do? What's that? Is plug some of the shows. Yeah, we could do that. All right, starting on Mondays at 8 o'clock, uh, 7 o'clock, actually, we have uh, Cards on the Table with Queen V. Okay. And at 8 o'clock on Mondays, I <laughs> don't remember. I did I did it. I knew it would fall apart. I'm back. Be wrong. You're back. <laughs> oh, we noticed. <laughs> What did I miss? I heard laughter when I came back. Oh, no. You missed absolutely nothing. (laughs) (laughs) Was that good, was it? Oh, yeah. We had nothing else to talk about. Yeah, I was like, you know, maybe we should plug some shows. Uh, When's Les show on? Les is on Wednesday nights at 7. Name of the show? PM Eastern Time. The name of the show was on schedule. There you go, because you never know. Those being dropped from the lineup this week. All aboard with Donald Wisman. Shows being picked up this week. All aboard with Donald Wisman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Nothing I, like self promotion from Donald. <laughs> well, All Aboard went on uh, I Hot Radio last week or the week before, can't remember where, yeah. but we're all on uh, I Hot Radio and now I believe we're on Spotify. Really? Yes. 
If we don't get our shit man. together, we'll get kicked off of those. Uh, yeah, you know what? This show's going to get canceled real soon. But we always got Friday. Yes. You know what I mean? I, I could give two fucks. What? I, How am I, I like, supposed to co-host and screw up shit if uh, the show gets canceled? We'll give you your own show. You can have your own show. Well, I'm sure I'd be really good at that. And have you guys on as guests? <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> we could be your sidekicks. We just changed the name of the show. <laughs> Keep it the same. <laughs> yeah, it. It's exactly the same. Horrible. Rehashing the same movie. old shit day in and day out. Yep. This is potless talk. Yeah, pot, yeah potless. <laughs> potless. Potless. Uh-oh, somebody said less. Day's rolling over right now. Uh-oh. I got my camos coming. Uh, we got about a minute left here, so we can say goodbye to the troops. Yes. Thanks for looking out for us. A happy Memorial Day. Yes, this is your time of the year. I think I'm going to go see my dad down at the cemetery. Yeah, let's Memorial take it out. I've been... Yeah. yeah. He, was a mil he, he, did, he did the military thing. He was Air Force. Where is he buried? Uh, North Reading. Oh, well, he is in North Reading. Well, okay. my... My father, he uh, served in Vietnam, and I believe I've seen that man twice in my 44 years. Oh, yeah. My father yeah. served in Korea. In France. <laughs> he was smart. He did it in France. My father was too young. <laughs> he served in Korea in, in France. <laughs> in France. You bet your ass. My father knew the draft was coming. He joined the Air Force as fast as it could happen. Because he knew he wasn't going to go into theater. Speaking of the draft, Trump was talking about uh, the draft the other day. So now we're going to get political? <laughs> yeah, right at the last <laughs> hell end of the show. Yeah, and I'd like to you know, say something about Trump and that show. <laughs> if I can find an article about that. What's the name? Yeah, How's this for political? Where is it at? Go Stupid president. Why couldn't he just stay in his own state? Yeah. <laughs> who's he talking about? That was Homer Simpson. No, but who was he talking about? What president? It, it doesn't doesn't matter. Every president. Yeah. Oh, my God. Speaking of that, they had a top 20 list of... Uh, the best presidents in uh, in United States history. Guess who was uh, number twelve? Uh, I'm gonna say George Washington. No, he was not in the list. Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's what I said. Barack Obama was number twelve. Yeah. The two Bushes were before him. Uh, Jimmy Carter, Gerald Ford. Um, Ronald Reagan wasn't in the list. Uh, Lincoln wasn't in that list. George Washington wasn't in that list. Thomas Jefferson, none of the, uh, the Adams, none of the yeah. founding fathers. Yeah, none of the founding fathers were in that list. Jesus Christ. Uh, you do know we're over time. We're not even on the air right now, are we? No, we're on the air. Oh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is tonight's to show, and we ran over again. Yes. Well, we didn't start late. I mean, we didn't start till late, so fuck it. All right, folks. We're going to catch you next Thursday at 8 o'clock. Uh, stay tuned for something to consider with Catrice Bounds. Yep. Good night, everyone. She's Good night, everybody. Me, Peace out, and thanks for listening, even though you're not there. Yeah. All right. All right, folks. Young. Take care. Bye. I was food. I was angry. I was fun. I was charming. Tell me how